now we're on page 100. This is exercise 31. And we'll start with heart rate again, which is approximately 20. And um, let's see, we'll measure it out here. So this is um, one that falls on a dark line. That's 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 43, 37, 33, 30. Um, you know, you might argue that that's 25 or 26 or so. We'll give it 25. Um, we see P waves are present upright and contoured, but there is no consistent PR interval, uh, which automatically, you know, makes us think, is there AV dissociation here? And if there's AV dissociation, is this a third degree AV block? If we continue on, the QRS is wide, and that's consistent with a third degree AV block. The ratio is not applicable. The rhythm is regular, which suggests that these uh, QRS complexes are coming from a single focus, uh, which is uh, consistent with a third degree AV block. And the rhythm is, in fact, a third degree AV block with a heart rate of 20 or 25 uh, beats per minute. So um, that's good. Now, a um, couple of things I should mention about a third degree AV block. Um, one, um, in, in terms of management, and I'll talk about this in more detail in a separate uh, advanced life support presentation, but in terms of management, uh, the objective here is to increase the heart rate. So we do that typically by providing transcutaneous pacing if this is hemodynamically significant. In other words, if the patient's symptomatic with this third degree AV block, what you don't want to do with a third degree AV block is give them an antirhythmic like amiodarone or lidocaine because what you have to remember is the, that these foci um, are coming from the ventricles and they are compensatory. So there's a focus down here probably in the Purkinje fibers um, that is compensating because uh, the impulse coming from the SA node can't get through to the ventricles. It's blocked. So the only thing keeping this patient alive is the focus down here in the ventricle. And the last thing we want to do is eliminate that focus by giving them an antirhythmic like lidocaine or amiodarone because, again, as I said, this is a compensatory focus. You knock that out and you end up without these and you end up with just these P waves throughout. And I'll talk about, uh, well, I'll give you an example of what that looks like in the next presentation.